Parking is enforced 24, 7, 365 days of the, of the year. And it's expected that all segments of the community buy a parking pass, and that includes students, faculty, staff, and visitors. There is enough parking right now. We do survey the lots and survey how full we get. Um, and at this time, you know, we have no plans of, of building any additional parking structures. Um, so what does that mean really? It means that the parking rates probably won't be going up anytime soon because that's what causes the parking rates to go up is when we have to build a new structure. And since it's like the first day of the semester, um, it was pretty busy. Um, I had to park like, like uh, to the top pretty much. Um, it, w it was kind of difficult to find parking. But I mean, I, I, I mean I, at the same time, it's, uh, you have to use your time man uh, wisely. Usually the best thing to do, especially during the first week of school, is to go, allow yourself some extra time. Um, up to 45 minutes wouldn't be uh, overkill. Um, don't expect to park um, right next to the building that you're going to, to class in. We do have plenty of parking on campus. It just may mean that you don't get to park as conveniently as you would like to. I mean, I personally did not get that much traffic because I came later, but it's full. And it wasn't like this freshman year. I'm a sophomore, so it kind of sucks. And I have my parking pass, and it sucks that I can't find parking if I paid for it. So don't forget that we do now have the transit station. Okay, and that transit station um, is great for those who use the uh, local bus services, either MTA and AVTA, the Antelope Valley. So um, that's another convenient way to get in campus, not spend money on parking permits, and save yourself all the aggravation of trying to find parking uh, on the campus when it's very busy.